6 44 and we're awake good morning you say good morning oh liam's taken darcy pearl downstairs that's what the weather's like i'm gonna crack on with some writing except excuse me be cool if you would be a working right 7 30 dressed and showered excuse my like bird's nest of hair and getting that sorted later i feel really frazzled this morning like i'm struggling to talk in a way like <laughs> um pearl woke up half an hour earlier than she usually does and i think i must have been in like a really deep sleep cycle because normally by half seven i'm like ready to go but not today um, I've done my makeup, but I feel like, you know, that episode of The Simpsons where Marge just gets that makeup gun and just goes, and she's done. That's how I feel. Sorry about the mess as well. There, I've got my bits out. I'm tired. My makeup's a bit, and sorry about the mess. That's going to be the theme of the day, is sorry about the mess, because I've been having a clear up. I'm just going to show you to this side here. Oh my a goodness i have been marie condoing a little bit um so i've been changing everything up this didn't used to be the dress space and it used to have two layers but i took it out um and then over here used to be the dress space but i'm gonna make it the skirt space and change the way i hang all these things because i hate hanging skirts like this and then over here ah. yeah it was one of those things that i thought this will take half an hour to move my dresses into a new part and decide which ones I'm going to keep but then it becomes like a whole beast onto its own doesn't it so I'm going to try and get a bit of that done today um, I've got some errands, I've got, oh, oh hello, there we go um, I've got a hair appointment to sort of us out and taking the kittens to the vets um, and picking Darcy up from school, it's a mummy day today there's no um, child support today so um, That'll be nice to have a bit of a mummy day. Right, we've got to go and have some breakfast and a drink and like maybe try and perk up a bit. I might have, what's it called? One of those things Liam always likes. Orangey thing. Barocca. <laughs> might try one of those and get a bit of pep in my step. It's 8am. I'm feeling awake now. I've had a Diet Coke. It's one of those days where I've had a Diet Coke before 8am. That's not healthy. I don't recommend that to anybody. Um, I wish that I drank tea or coffee because I could really do with a coffee now to like give me a bit of buzz. I don't know why Diet Coke does because it doesn't have caffeine and I think it's probably a placebo but everywhere is a mess but we're off on the school run. Liam's coming because he doesn't start work till a bit later and then we're popping to the shop and then we're dropping some stuff at the charity shop. It's all go this morning isn't it babe? We need the key. And we need the key. We need the key. It's all go today babe isn't it? It is. It is. <laughs> right let's go. I think your sister's done your blankets this morning hasn't she? First of all, look at your hair, you little ragamuffin. And we've got one here. Let's sort you out, shall we? You probably don't need it to be like a little scarf, do you? And um, she's got a big blanket, a muslin cloth and a towel. Should we sort you out? we get you sorted. Snug as a bug in a rug. I told Liam I was just going to pop into Waitrose to get two things and I've got like a full trolley's worth. It's going to be getting so annoyed in the car. Sorry, Liam. I'm here, it is 9.56 and I'm at the salon four minutes early. It's been such a busy morning. We all got up so early, <laughs> thanks Pearl, um, and did the school run and then we were popped into the shops to get some bits and in the end I was like so panicked that it was taking so long. And then Liam was like, don't worry about it. I was like, oh, he's such a good man. Um, dropped some stuff off at the homeless um support center you know i did all those stuff for christmas i put it all in my office and then there was one box that was hidden under a load of stuff and that i had completely forgotten about so i took that in i don't know what they're going to do with the christmas crackers but maybe they'll save them for next year does the bang in christmas crackers go off does it like lose its bang i don't know but there was other good stuff in there that'll be useful to them and i put a load of feminine hygiene products in there too and then we went to a charity shop because I, as you saw from my dressing room, I'm like trying to declutter my house. So I went through my office yesterday and decluttered just a box of bits and bobs. Like a copper wire pen pot that doesn't really suit my style anymore. I don't really use. I just thought rather than just shove this in a cupboard, I should give this to a charity shop. Because there'll be people out there that do, that is their style. So 
um i feel good because i've like gotten rid of i'm minimalizing I'm watching a lot of videos about minimalizing at the moment as like a form of self-care um and so far so good this morning's been so like quick 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 i've got to be here by then here by then blah, 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 blah. i just need to like take everything down 10 percent and just yes right i'm gonna go and get this washed and blow dried into something a little bit more well a little bit less bird's nesting a little bit more glam um and then i feel like the day really is beginning good so i'm working on the draft Alicia's making me look like a princess again. Thank you very much. Yes, look. Feel like I look like the show pony that I like to feel like when I've had my hair done. I've got a really good scene of the book written as well, actually. Let's put that down a bit. Oh, that's real good lighting there. I'll just, I'll just have sun in my eyes, but look good on camera because that's more important than my actual retinas. Um, I feel a bit buzzy because I just got a really good scene of the book written. There was a scene that I'd left out when I did the first draft between Lacey and Robin. Um, and I knew when I was writing it, I just wasn't nailing it. And then I wrote a note to my editor and I was like, I don't think I've got this properly. And then I just went back to it and worked on it. I feel like I have got it properly now. So I feel really good about this. So if you read the book, the scene that I'm talking about is... Um, the scene between the two of them when... I'm trying not to give anything like crucial away when Robin is helping to feed Willow and there's a chat about breastfeeding that's not I'm not giving you anything away there but you'll know that when you read that scene that's the one that I worked on in the salon so message me tweet me or something like I just read the salon scene it's not a scene in the salon I wrote it in the salon they're not in a salon 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 I'm going home hi it's noon and Oh my god, you know how when I last spoke, I was like, mm, I've got my life so together, I feel so good, I'm so on top of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Toddlers are ruthless. I was just saying to Liam, because he just left for work. Toddlers, like, did you want a rest? No, you've got a toddler. Did you want a tidy house? No, you've got a toddler. We fed her a lovely lunch of scrambled egg and toast. Here's what she thought of it. Here's what she thought of that. Um, we got some toys out. Here's what she thought of all of them. I don't know how the kitchen has got like this because it wasn't like this this morning. It's just, if I were to take you anywhere at all in my house right now, there's nowhere safe. Oh, the dining room area should be okay. No, stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. Oh, mainly little kittens, but we'll see them in a minute. You come out here, oh stuff everywhere part of me was like oh this is great everywhere's really messy i can do a speed clean but i just don't have any energy for it today i don't know what's happened but i feel like i'm on power down mode i feel like i'm in energy save mode where i can't open all my apps i just can't do anything but pearl has gone down for a little nap now it wasn't even nap time but she wouldn't nap this morning so we've gone rogue with naps which it's a schoolgirl error. I know this, but you know when you're just like, I need half an hour. I need for you to have a nap, and I can't deal with her when she's really, really grumpy and horrible. So I thought, have a little nap. And I thought, oh, I'll just tidy up all of this, but I don't think I will. Do you want to see the cats? They're being very sweet, except one's in the litter tray. So I'll wait till it's finished the business, give him a bit of dignity, and I'll show you them. Hello, babies. Hi, gorgeous boy. Hello. So I think I'm going to call the little black one Venus. I was thinking Nebula as well, but that's harder to say. I think Venus is a nice little name. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? And then down here, underneath the blanket, <gasps> there he is! <laughs> We're going to call that one Cosmo. Oh, why are you being so cute? Well, you are being so cute. You are being so precious. So... Cosmo has a little lump on his side that you can't see because it's under the fur but when you pull the fur back it's like a little bean and it looks like a weird little tumour cyst thing so we've got an appointment at the vets this afternoon so just want to go and see what it is, get it checked out <sighs> are you balancing? and I'm going to take his brother as well so that he can just have a little 
wellness check and talk about jabs and neutering. They're obviously a bit young now, but we get all of our cats have their jabs. They get neutered. We have a little chip put in them as well. Yeah, we get you chipped. Yes, we do. Oh my God, you're so cute. There we go, they live in there. And then I have this little gate as well so that Pearl can't go in and grab them. Cause she loves to be grabby grabby with the kitty catties. Um, I've had a few comments on my Instagram saying that you don't agree with people breeding kittens for sale um, and that I shouldn't have bought kittens and yada yada. Just wanted to clear up that I didn't buy these kittens. They were rehomed to me. Um, a lovely um, lady who is basically the mother of a friend of mine's cat had kittens, it's the same cat that had Orbit and Milky, and some people have said that she should neuter that cat, yada yada. I don't feel like it's my place to tell a very nice older lady what she should do with her animals. So I've seen a few comments being like, why didn't you tell her to neuter them? It's like, because she's a very nice lady who, you know, she's older than me, and she, she that it's like, you know, it's not my place to say that. To her we get all of our cats neutered and next door who are having two of the kittens they're getting them neutered as well so um i know there's always going to be comments saying that there's no comments on these videos anymore because youtube turned off all the comments that's fun isn't it i'm thinking i'm gonna stand out here actually this is a nice angle it's not but it's comfortable to leave my arm like this i think i'm going to turn the comments back on i've emailed youtube again so i have um like a What's he called? Like an account manager there, I guess, to help me manage my YouTube account, my account manager. I emailed him again yesterday to say, what's going on? Are you turning the comments back on? Could you give me more reasons as to why they've been turned off? Because I haven't actually been given much official information on this. I'm just going off the videos that I've watched, like the rumour videos about timestamps and all of that kind of stuff. I don't know if you've looked into it. Um, but I haven't really been given much official chat on it so I've emailed a couple of times and not really had I've had like a I hear you and your opinions are valid which is nice but there's not been like much else and then I emailed again yesterday to say what shall I do if I turn them back on is it going to like massively affect your audit because I don't want to do that I want to be helpful but then also my priority is you guys and not YouTube which sounds maybe a bit harsh but I want our community back it feels weird after 10 years to not have our like dialogue going so I'm gonna ask again and if I don't hear back I think I'm just gonna manually turn the comments on on this video I won't turn them on on all the videos because I want to be helpful um, but I don't understand the mechanisms of it that's what I want to know like how is turning off the comments on all channels with family content helping and I'm sure it is I just want to know how it is that I can feel you know more like I'm doing something helpful is any of that making sense? I feel like I'm drunk today and <laughs> nothing I'm saying is making sense. I can assure you I'm not drunk. I wish I was drunk. I wish I was still having my party a lifestyle, but a party for me now is like a bourbon biscuit and an orange juice at half past nine. Our next door neighbour had a bit of paving done in her garden and I said, Amanda, who did your lovely paving? And she told me who and we booked him to come and give us a quote and we liked him and we liked what his ideas were. So we're going to have our garden change around quite a bit. I think I might give you a tour of how it is now and then give you like little updates and then maybe in the spring to like a full garden tour because we've got some really nice things to put in it. So I'll show you what we look like now. I'll also say don't judge me because we know that we're doing the garden up. We've just kind of let it get a bit messy. So put cast your judgments asunder. So this is our kitchen. You come out of here and we have all this lovely decking. Currently we have been using outside as nature's fridge, but obviously as it gets warmer, we'll have to use uh, mankind's fridge. Um, over here we have, still on the decking, we have our outdoor sofa. It does have cushions, but we've put those away for the winter. <sighs> that needs to go in the recycling. We've just got an open brolly, casually, and one flip-flop, as you do. These are part of the set that go just here. There's another one somewhere. And then if we go around here to the edge, um, we just have a bit of shrubbery and the kids stuff. So if we move around, we move onto the grass. We have all of these bushes here. We have the back wall. And then down here we have loads of bushes and we have a bit of patio there. That patio is going. A lot of these bushes are going because not really a bush person so I would like these to 
go I think we might keep some bits at the sides because we're gonna have paving go like this and then curve round and I need it to curve because I need some area back there for the cats to go to the toilet because they like going in the bushes so some of the bushes up there probably from like the olive tree are gonna stay all of that's gonna stay this is going to go and be turfed the fruit trees which Liam has like pruned back to smithereens in the winter I'm not really sure why he did that he said it was pruning but he's literally like hacked them off um, they're gonna stay and then we'll have the um, paving go all the way down there and then this little bit of like jutting out um, decking is gonna go so that it all like lines up neatly um, I need to tidy all this up you're staying here we'll obviously tidy up a little bit and then down here this is our BBQ down here we have just a lot of junk that all needs tidying up these are all gonna go because we've never made the most of these and then this area can be used for the children to play on their scooters that means leaving you out of it scooters and bikes and also for us to basically shove all our crap which is what we do now oh that's nice isn't it oh so glamorous oh lovely it should all just look a bit neater a bit fresher i want to get some little pots of lavender to put around the edges we're going to prune back the trees i'm just going to tidy it all up and that'll be hi baby boy little cat there that'll all be in time for spring summer because we go out there a lot in the spring and summer and also our garden is completely secure and like hemmed in um, and I like that for the children because sometimes I let them play just on the front garden if I'm there obviously but even then I don't like it because I'm like a super paranoid mum and I like them I like to be like a hawk mum where I can see them at all times um, so I'm really looking forward to that I'm hoping to get some like fairy lights and some cute little bits and just make it like another like an extension of the house almost so that's what's happening as of tomorrow that starts which is really exciting oh god I've got to clear this up because now the cat's starting to eat it no baby nope sorry not for you I don't know if you should be eating that probably not come away <sighs> there we go I've just had the nicest how long 45 minutes just sat I did two work emails that took no time at all and then I just sat and watched YouTube and just like zenned out a bit i been feeling a bit frazzled this morning. I don't know if you can tell that I've been a bit like, <laughs> but I feel like nice and calm now. I've not had any of the sound on apart from the videos I've watched. I've been watching Dainty Diaries. Do you follow her? She's called Catherine. She's Irish. She upcycles a lot of things and crafts a lot of things. She just seems so pure and wholesome. <laughs> I just love her. I don't know her. Um, she's not like a YouTube friend of mine. Um, but I would love to meet her, so Catherine, maybe one day I'll pass or cross because think your ace. It's made me want to sand down most of my furniture. So she sands down a lot of furniture and then paints it. You know how I've painted the kitchen? I'll just turn you around and just excuse all the mess. So you see this. As you can see, I've really not done any tidying at all. Um, this is from Ikea and I sanded that down and painted it and spray painted the gold bits based on something she had done. I've literally almost copied her design entirely. But now I'm looking at these doors thinking, maybe I should get those painted. What do you think? I don't like the color, like this warm brownie color. So maybe very pale gray. And then I was thinking maybe, oh gosh, what a mess we're in. Um, maybe I could sand this down, also tidy it. But would that be like, would it be bad to sand it because it's all like lovely reclaimed wood and it looks all lovely but maybe I could sand it take these knobs off and put like little crystally florally knobs on spray the black bits gold and then maybe make this wall a lighter pink and then if we go over here make that wall a lighter pink and make it all a bit country chic as you can see i'm heavily influenced by other people's style because she's completely like shabby chic country chic and i used to absolutely love that style if you remember my old house do you remember it have you been watching that long to remember the little house i lived in before um it was so lovely and it was so shabby chic and the reason it was shabby chic because it really was shabby <laughs> um because i bought it when i was 23 and then everything I had was like second hand from like friends and family's garages and I just kind of made the most of it and like scrubbed it up a bit 
I loved that style and then when I moved in here I felt a bit like I had to have my house a certain way because I think social media got to me a bit and I felt like oh no I've got to have contemporary and I've got to have everything look a bit cool and modern and ugh, because that's what everybody has but I don't want my house to be like that really I like the shabby chic look I like that country look I like very like florally and like um cute colors I love all that sort of stuff so I think I'm going to start putting my stamp on things a bit more and trying not to think about like what the the done style is on insta like you can just have your own style can't you i know this i don't know why i didn't do that yeah so eventually we will get there we were going to do a lot of work to the house this year we were going to change the kitchen and we we're going to change the bathrooms i really don't like the style of the bathrooms at all i don't like the brown tiles um i really want to like rip them off and replace them but that would be so labor intensive so that would really drive the cost up to get those tiles off the wall um, and painting them would look horrible because they've got like a little texture to them. Um, but we, I think we're going to hold off any rev renovations for at least a year. Like I'd have to have a really, really good year for for us to be doing it this year. Um, so I think next year we're going to redo them. Um, uh, so until then, I think I might just do a little bit of painting and see see what I can do. What do you think to painting the table and the unit though would that be like you know, you know the fear the fear is i'm gonna make i'm gonna ruin it and then be like oh i can't go back now i've ruined it <laughs> thoughts below please <laughs> i should really get up it's not like me to like laze around during the day but i fully have i've undone my jeans and everything <sighs> i'm gonna sit here for one more minute in silence and then i'm gonna get up it's 13 at 36 and i'm leaving the kitchen looking like a steak because we've got to get to the vet. So I'm packing Pearly a little packed lunch. We're still using our Duna bag, which is what I've used since the very beginning and she's still in the Duna car seat. Although I think in the next few months we're gonna have to broaden out of that. So if you've got any good recommendations for good car seats, let me know. I'm so sad <laughs> that the Duna's ending because it's one of those ones that the wheels pop out of and you don't have to like transfer, so. That would be a bummer to have to start transferring, but I'll show you her little lunch that I've packed her. We've got an Ella's Kitchen sweet potato, pumpkins, apples, and blueberry little pouch. She loves those. This is not an ad or a gift. I have worked with Ella's Kitchen in the last year though. Was it the last year or has it been more than a year ago? It's in the last year. You have to disclaim these things now. So there's that. And then a milk, still on formula. I don't know why I can't bring myself to put her on cow's milk. She has cow's milk in lots of other parts of her diet because she has cereal with cow's milk and she has cheese and yogurt and a lot of dairy products. Um, there's something about like a big bottle of cow's milk that I find like I just don't want to give her and I don't know why. And normally I don't want to hear people's opinions on food stuff because like everybody's got an opinion but I would really value hearing the, the pros and cons of cow's milk. It's because I've heard things about pus and blood in cow's milk and it makes me feel a bit unhappy so let me know right that's that i need to get pearl from her bedroom wake her up i think she's already awake and get her dressed what shall she wear today Put some little jeans in the ba basket there got a basket of stuff down there um and i also need to get the kittens in the basket but i'll get the baby ready first <laughs> baby kittens me that seems to be like the hierarchy in this house in general hello is there an awakey baby there's a dolly and blankets on the floor hello hello sweetie hi sweetie <laughs> are you ready to get up yeah should we get dressed should we do these blinds? Let's get these open. Oh, oh my squisher. Should we take that off? Oh. Good morning. There we go. One arm. Bing. Have we got another arm going in? No? Ding, ding, ding. Is that cosy? Should we 
do that up. Oh, that's nice. One more, one more. We've got cold hands. Oh, baby. You're tired still. Oh, little sleepy baby. And the other foot. Where's that foot gone? One. Ready, steady, two. Should <laughs> we pull this bit up at the back? Three, two, one. Whoop. This little romper is from Zara and it is so sweet. Can I put this arm through? Here we go. That one, that one, that one. Push, 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 push. <gasps> She's ready. Say, I am ready. Oh, you're not ready. You don't want to stand up yet, do you? Oh, is that a little smile? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, ding, ding. Diggly, diggly, diggly. Ding, ding, ding. ding. <laughs> diggly, diggly, diggly. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, God. Um, Should we get your socks on and get your eye cleaned up? You've got a bit of a gunky eye. And get going. Are we going to the vet? Are we going to the vets? Are we going to the vets? <laughs> Are we going to the vets? And ding 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 ding, yes! Are we going to take those cats to the vets? <laughs> to the vets! When did you get so cute? When did you get so cute? A doo da, a doo da. God. Oh, if anyone was broody, this isn't helping, is it? This has been the chattiest little car journey ever. I've had Darcy, not Darcy, that one's Pearl. Um, Pearl doing her singing, which goes like this. <laughs> like whale sounds. And then you guys are not loving being in there. I feel horrible having you in there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. We've got to go and see what that little lumpy is, my babe. Yeah, should we take you in and get it sorted? Right, I'm going to try and get two cats and a baby. In, and I'm in a tight parking spot so wish me luck. Oh my god the parking gods were listening because here is the space and this is where I am but this had a car in it and now it doesn't. Yahoo! Yahoo baby girl! Oh. We at the vet my love. <laughs> little doggies and then we've got our little friends here. I've tucked them away so the dog can't see them. They seem pretty relaxed now. This is the one that had the little the lump, lump on him. And yeah. who's, is this Cos Cosmo? Cosmo. Yeah, this one's Venus. Lovely. The vet's just gone to go and get some treatment. Pearly, you've been good, haven't you? <laughs> she looks really annoyed. So the little black and white one we suspect had a tick, but that little lump has gone now. It was there yesterday, but now it's not. So we think it was a tick. We're going to get some treatment, like tick and worm and flea treatment all that sort of stuff but she's just gone to check what type they can have because they're very young still aren't you babies but i'm glad they're okay we have arrived at school early <sighs> happy days right we're home and we've got doodles being a good helper aren't you yeah. she's tidying up the lounge bit i've just started working on getting all the kitchen all sorted Jud judith shout hello just shout hello. 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 <laughs> Judith is here, she's sorting out Pearl's eyes for me. Uh, and I'm going to get the rest of everywhere sorted out and get cooking some dinner. I think I'm going to try a stir fry tonight. Not the normal stir fry I do because I've got a big pack from Costco. But I'm going to give a go up, I'll show you as I go. Right, so this is what we are having tonight. I've got this vegetable blend of stir fry that I picked up in Costco and it's taking up so much space in the freezer that I want to like give a bit of it a go. So I'm gonna stir fry all that veg. I also bought chicken, but I'm gonna cook this in the oven and then cut it into strips and like add it on top afterwards, like lay it out restaurant style. Um, we've got fine egg noodles and then we've also got plum and hoisin sauce. Now this could be a disaster. I'm cooking for all of us and Liam and Judith, but you, this could be a, a flavour mistake because we've got ginger, coriander and lime, but then also plum and hoisin sauce. 
Although lime and plum are both fruit, aren't they? So that'll be fine, yeah. won't it? Now, I never actually managed to cook Judith a meal that's been that's been above a four out of ten, really, have I? So you've come with low expectations. You have cooked some great meals. Name name one of the great meals that I've cooked. Pasta. Pasta. Yeah. What what, what was special about it? Pesto and peas in it. <laughs> Got pesto. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've never actually cooked noodles like this before. Usually they come out of the packet wet, but I thought I'd give it a go not wet. So basically a chef now. Let's get cracking. <laughs> Sent help. Judith just said, Christmas dinner was lovely. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I didn't cook that. She went, oh. I was trying to think of something nice you've cooked. You're the cook in the family. I don't know why we don't all come to you on a Tuesday for dinner. That seems like a much better idea. Um, so far, so good. I'm just taking film lids off of chicken. Cordon bleu. Hello. I'm just filming some befores and afters of the garden. Oh, that's it. Wipe your sticky hands on my windows. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Right, I'm going to do some before and after shots, like slow ones, like, ooh, yes. La la la, so that when the garden's done, we can do some lovely bit of a transformation, transformation video. Blow my neck. Right, here we go. Quite nice being out here, it's not too cold at all, like I've just got a t-shirt on and the birds are tweeting. Spring is in the air, I'm so excited for spring and summer this year. Right, oh God, my garden's the best. On with the before and afters. Can somebody please reassure me that they have a bit of garden like this, which is where they just dump all their stuff and that I'm not just a, a slovenly garden owner. All done. Let's go in and find these little children of mine. There's one doing a dance. There's another. That's, that's a Judith. That's not a child of mine. <laughs> Funny jokes. Look at this. Look at the steam. I'm basically Jamie Oliver. I'm basically Marcus Waring. I'm basically uh, uh, Julia, not Julia, what's she called? Nigella Lobson. Lawson. Uh, Lawson. Yeah. Twist it with tongs. Oh, yeah. Just can't wait to be king. The chicken's not done yet, but I'm dished up. I'm pearly. Um, not loving it, are you, my love? You're not loving it. Judith says she likes it, but Judith is nice. I could have served you anything and you'd have said you liked it. Doodles, what do you think? Um, pepperoni Brilliant, brilliant. Five out of five. I've added chicken in now. I know this looks really gross, but this is the tastiest meal I've cooked in ages. Doodles, now that you've tasted it, what do you think? Um, ten out of a hundred. Ten out of a hundred? Wait. <laughs> Do you mean a hundred out of ten? <laughs> we tried. Quarter to seven. We've got a semblance of calm. I've lit a candle. I've actually lit. Did you see my home bargains? I did a budget cleaning haul from home. Uh, home bargains or B&M, B&M on Facebook, and I included this candle. It's the same smell as my little washing machine pellets. What they're called. Comment below if you know what I mean. They make everything smell nice. I can't remember what they're called. What are those things called that you put in the washing machine to make it smell nice? Oh, the capsules. Unstoppables. Unstoppables. It's the same smell as my Unstoppables. It's delicious. So I put this on to freshen it for Pearly is having a little bottle of Auntie Judith and Darcy's. What are you doing, doodles? Um, casual stuff. Casual stuff, just casualing about. I've had a clean up. Got a scarf. Got a scarf, just casualing around. So we're going to start the bedtime routine and wind a bit. Then again. I also forgot to mention that Pearl's eye has got a lot worse really quickly. So we did a little like sterilised water, like swipey with it. Um, and then I rang my doctor's surgery to see if I could get an appointment for this for tomorrow morning because we think it needs drops, don't we, June? Definitely. Definitely needs some drops. And the surgery said that I have to go to the chemist first and that the chemist can prescribe drops. I would say, what would you recommend? But by the time you watch this, we would have gone and got them. Um, but hopefully, by the time you see this, we've sorted out her eye. Because it can't be nice to feel all gunky. Kids, cats and dogs. Night night, sweetie. 
Night night, love you lots. Good girl. Night night. Oh, thank you Darcy, that's a good place to put them. Look at this, how cool is this? Thanks for popping it just there for me, my love. <laughs> <laughs> so they are in um, Mother and Baby magazine. They have a feature, the mum list. Loads of great ladies on there. Loads and loads. Hang on a second. Oh, 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 hi. Oh, hi, number one, Louise Pentland. That's me, that's me, that's me. That's Orbit, that's Darcy, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Thank you everyone for voting for me. That's very lovely of you, I really appreciate it. I'm gonna cut this out. I've got a fresh magazine down, magazine. <laughs> Can't say magazine then. Downstairs, I'm gonna frame it. I'm very lucky, but who made me a mum? That's right. <laughs> what do you think Orbit thinks of it? Um, not really bothered. Not really bothered. Sounds about right. He's like, what? What's going on? He's like, I don't care. This is nice. This is little. I don't care. Little massage. Is that nice? If it was called Mother and Child, yeah. I would be in it. But yeah. unfortunately, I'm not. It's called Mother and Baby. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favourite parts of the evening. It's 14 minutes past seven and my doodles and I are gonna have a little bit of laptop time. We're gonna watch some of our favourite vlogs, have a little chat and then go to bed. I'm not entirely sure what's happened here but it is 20 to eight. Both the children are in bed and asleep. The kitchen is tidy, tidy enough. Liam's dinner's on the stove waiting for him. I have caught up on my emails. This feels very odd. Feels very strange that we've got to this point. Normally I'm like still going until nine-ish because I'm putting out little fires or, you know, Darcy's just told me she needs to take in a million things to school the next day and I've got to arrange it all. Or last night I stripped the bed yesterday and we only have one set of bedding. I don't know why this is because over the years I've bought about 8,000 sets but I think the airing cupboard eats them or something. So basically every time I want to change sheets I have to strip this bed, wash it, dry it and put it straight back on. I'm really going off on a tangent here but yesterday I stripped the bed at 7am and I was like ha 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 I've got you time because I've got loads of it and I will have this bed on by noon. I didn't. It got to 10pm and we were frantically tumble drying things trying to get them back on the bed. I don't know how that happened. I don't think that would happen today. Today has been such a get things done day. I mean, the only thing that's really gone wrong per se is Pearlie's eyes, but that's not a thing that went wrong, it's just happened. And hopefully we'll get that sorted in the morning. This feels very bizarre, I don't know what to do with myself. Yes, I do. I'm going to enjoy everything that YouTube has to offer. Oh, what's this? Oh my lord. Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. Good morning. Can we just talk a moment about how amazing Michelle Obama is, please? I've just read her book Becoming and I liked her before, but now I just love her. I think she is just an incredible woman. She is smart and witty and compassionate and she has more grace than any person I have ever known. I mean, I don't actually know her, she's not my friend, but I feel like she is my friend in the same way that I feel like Phil and Holly from ITV This Morning are my friends just because I consume them a lot. And by consume, I mean watch, not consume, like eat them. It's It's got late, it's not late, it's not. It's like two minutes from where we left off. <laughs> anyway, Michelle Obama, she is a badass and I love her a lot and Michelle, if you're watching this, which I think we can all be assured you're not, I think you're great, you're a good egg. I, 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 I just kissed my hand. Gosh. I hope Michelle's not watching this. I don't know what the last thing I filmed was because I put the girls to bed, I think it was probably putting the girls to bed and then um, I did a bit of work and then I'm just looking at my phone to find my questions from you. I pop next door to have a little chat with my next door neighbour but I have now been on, saved loads of your questions. Ta -da! So we're going to go through some of them right now. 
are you ready let's get ready let's get ready let's get ready to bedtime bath time routine get ready get steady get ready everybody get ready for the bedtime bath ba 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 binary 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 does anybody know what i mean when i say binary 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 it's a thing from a thing i've actually got a bath done in here and then afterwards i'm going to sit and read my new copy of the Man baby and relax a vu but here we go question number one from it's riz why did you decide to go to university? And the answer to that is because I didn't know I had a choice not to go to university. Come from a family, uh, well, my dad is super pushy, um, especially with education, and it never even occurred to me that there could be something else that I could do that wasn't further education. I didn't even know that you could go into like a vocation. I've got lots of lip balm on, so I feel a bit sticky. Um, uh, a skill, an apprenticeship, the workplace. Um, I went to a school that was very education orientated, orientated, that's the right word. Um, so I, I didn't really decide, it wasn't a question of do you want to go to university, the question was always what university do you want to go to. Saying that I'm not cross about it because university was the right place for me at the right time. Um, and I just had the best time. I had a whale of a time. It was fantastic. I went to Liverpool, John Moores in Liverpool. Um, JMU, yes. Um, and it was brilliant. So if anyone is in Liverpool, I'm jealous of you because it's such an amazing city. Kira says, my grandma passed away last week. Do you have any tips for dealing with grief, grief and death? And um, firstly, I'd like to say sorry to hear about grandma. Um, and my tip for dealing with grief and death comes from losing my own, I'm just gonna spread my legs out a little bit, getting fizzy legs. Um, losing mum so young and something I often think to myself is that I have to live my life twice as good now because I'm living life for me but I'm also experiencing all the things that she doesn't get to experience anymore. So I always think you have to carry on living twice as happy, twice as cheery, twice as fun take twice the opportunities because you're living for them as well and that spurs you on to get up every day and to be happy and I know it's really cliche but our loved ones would not want us to sit at home being sad all the time I think it's okay to be sad for a while but or like have your sad days like for me the 20th of December is always a sad day because that's my mum's death anniversary and the 22nd of April is always a sad day because that's my mum's birthday anniversary her birthday um but you've got to carry on living because that's what they would have wanted and to live is a privilege so we should enjoy every day. Next question. Here's a question that I don't have an answer for but I just thought it was a really good question and this comes from Paige Watts and that was how has God slash your faith changed you and or altered your daily life? Adore you. Thank you very much. Um, and I don't know how God has changed my daily life but I wanted to note the question because if anybody else has a faith or believes in God, I'd be interested for you to think about that question too because it's definitely something I'm gonna think on over the next few days. Julia says, what advice would you give for me being mad when girls hit on my husband? Um, I don't know because I have never, well, I have actually. I've never been in that situation with Liam because we don't tend to be in like going outy situations, but when I was married, to Matt and we used to go on nights out and stuff when we were still like young and spirited before children like suck your life out of you. We used to go out and girls would come on to him because he's a good looking man and girls would come on to him and I used to just think it was funny I'd be like huh I'm coming on to my husband. I think because I don't know <laughs> so we would be like oh that's a funny thing that's happening I suppose because I knew that like I felt very secure in my relationship that there was never going to be like a cheating issue. Um, I don't have any advice other than you know your husband loves you and you love him so maybe just walk over and just be like hi I'm Louise or I'm Julia nice to meet you I'm such and such his husband and just kind of very politely like get in there that he's not available but you know, it's not, it's not his fault if someone's hitting on him, I suppose. I suppose it depends what he's doing when they're hitting on him that might be making you mad. I don't know, but that's a good question. If anyone has any advice for that, do leave it in the comments below. Talking of comments, I had a response from my man on YouTube and he said, if I want to turn my comments back on, I just monitor the comments 
than I can um, and he didn't really have any information but he said he's chasing for information to work out what's going on so still no further but I'm going to put the comments on for this video and I feel okay about doing it. Emma says could you do a big baby buys and worst video oh best big baby buys yes I can but I'll tell you now the best big baby buy is the Duna buggy I was very fortunate I was gifted it but if it broke I'd replace it in a flash it's amazing it's a buggy that well it's a car seat that has the wheels attached so you press it when you take it out of the car you press excuse me a button and the wheels pop down and you can use it as a small buggy it's not great for like your day push chair because you can't hang much off it, it doesn't have storage but for things I've got the hiccups, for things like if you're doing the school run or you've got petrol you just want to nip in and um, you know, little things where you don't need a buggy but obviously you need to take your baby in with you the doona is amazing uh, Luce says how do you feel about people taking pictures of you slash your family without permission I don't like it, just come and say hi and if ever you meet me, if ever you see me out and about and you like a picture, just come and say hi but I suppose I don't mind as much if people take pictures of me from afar but I mind in the same way that everyone would because what if I'm all hunched over or I'm eating or I just look horrible it just makes me not feel very nice but if ever I even think someone's taking pictures of the children which doesn't happen very often it like it's not good it makes me very cross sorry Patty says how long have you lived in Northampton I was there visiting in August 2013 well Patty, I've been living here since 1987 and then I left in 2003 and came back in 2009 so I've been here a jolly long time. Fee says, favourite place to shop? I would say ASOS, I just think that it has so much on it, it has lots of different brands but I also really like the ASOS brand, I think ASOS Curve is really good. Um, the, it posts quickly, it's easy to do returns, most of it fits ASOS, I love it. Beth Shrub says, what are your favourite candle scents? Now, if you've been following a long time, you will know that I love candles, and I buy candles a lot, I, I do like, whenever I go to home scents, I buy tons of candles, I always have candles on, and then I was noticing that I was getting more and more headaches, and then I stopped lighting my candles and just took them out of the room or put the lids on them, and I stopped getting as many headaches and I've started using essential oils but like very pure ones I've checked that they're cat safe and follow all the procedures etc etc um so I'm not lighting candles at the moment I think I'm gonna stop buying candles but when I was really into candles I really like fresh scents like lemon scents and mint scents and I don't like vanilla scents Bethan says, how is WW going? I love that a YouTuber I love supports them and helped me lose 40 pounds. Well done, Bethan. So if you don't know, I am a WW, used to be Weight Watchers ambassador, and I'm contracted to share certain things about them, but I'm not contracted to talk about it now, so this is not an ad. I freaking love it. I feel healthier, I feel more confident. Um, I know, I, like I can meal plan a lot better, which just makes me feel more secure because I know how the week is going, I'm spending less on my shopping bill because I'm not just buying like as much ready-made crap, I still buy ready-made stuff though. Um, yeah, I really like it, I'm going to continue on with it and well done on your success on it too. Mrs Nook or Mrs Snook says, what clothes should I pack for a centre parks holiday? Comfy clothes. Every time I go, I take a selection of comfy clothes, like jeans and leggings and trainers, and then I also think, oh, I'll take a nice dress, I'll take a nice outfit. I never ever wear the nice dress and nice outfit, so just your comfies. It's a practical holiday. You're like walking and cycling and swimming and, you know, maybe just take sportswear. I don't have a lot of sportswear, but comfy. If I suddenly go, it's because my battery has just started flashing. So Megan says, what is your favourite biscuit? It is a bourbon. We all know this. MK says, have you ever been judged by family for doing something? If so, how did you deal with it? Yes, I have been judged by an auntie of mine, who I will not name which one. When I started making a YouTube video, she said, why do you do that? Is it because you want the attention? And I was really like, oh, cheers for supporting something that I love. And I don't think she understood that I love the creativity of it and... I just felt like she'd thought of the most negative thing she could think of and had like vomited that on me for a thing that I love. And the way I dealt with it is I just thought, I will show you that I'm gonna be so successful at this. You will eat your words. 
Um, so <laughs> and there's probably a more zen way to deal with things, but I was like, I'll show you why I do this. So I should probably go back and thank that auntie because starting that YouTube channel was a really, really good idea. Um, I think this is not like a very like like wholesome answer, but I think just be really successful at the things you do. And success doesn't have to be money. It can be like you're creatively fulfilled or you're enjoying something or you're making friends or you're having a new experience, but you just crack on. If you like doing something and you're not harming anyone else, you crack on. Lizzie says, do you miss Liverpool and would you ever go back and visit? Lots of love to you, Liam and the girls. Thank you very much, Lizzie. And yes, I really miss Liverpool. I was really like a great, I really love Miss Liverpool. I love it, it's my favorite city in the whole world. And every year I say to Liam, we must go to Liverpool, we must go to Liverpool. So this year we are actually gonna have a little three day mini break up there. And also I'd quite like to bring the book tour up to Liverpool and then probably extend my say a bit. If ever you get the opportunity to go to Liverpool, you must go. It is the friendliest city you will ever go to in your whole life. It's vibrant. It's culture, oh, it's just brilliant. It's a great city. I've got, I realized that my battery's flashing so I can't like chat on about it too much. Harley says, when are you met next meeting up with Emma, Brummy Mummy, as I love watching you both, we are meeting up on Sunday, so the day you're watching this, we are taking part in the Scummy Mummies podcast up in Birmingham. So if you're watching this first thing in the morning, if you Google Scummy Mummies, you might be able to find out where that is and see if there's still tickets, but they might be sold out, but worth a look. Ab says, are you excited for the new season of Victoria? Is the Pope Catholic? Yes, he is. I went to visit him that one time, and he is. Why do you have so many cats? I can't help how much room in my heart I've got for my feline friends. How is Esther doing? I love watching your friendship, and that is from Knepa Valley. Is that meant to be Napa Valley? I don't know. Uh, she's doing very well. She's super busy at the moment, so we haven't seen each other for two weeks, or even three weeks. I think this is the longest we've gone in a long old time. Chelsea says, if there's one thing you can change in the world, what would it be and why? It would be for there to be no guns, uh, and that would be so that nobody could be hurt by guns. It's a very serious answer. Sorry about that. Oh no, the battery keeps dying, so I'm gonna call it an end. I love you lots, and I'll leave all the links below. And thank you so much for watching this week. I've gotta go. Bye.